Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This is essentially lab 4 for getting started series with serverless framework. In this lab, I'm gonna be teaching you how to essentially add a custom Lambda event to an event bus using serverless framework. So the goal is whenever anyone publish an event to the event bus, we wanna fire up a Lambda. But we wanna do this entire thing using a serverless framework, okay? So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that, right? So hopefully you guys can see my screen. Uh, this is gonna be lab four. The code is there, right? So lab four, okay. Uh, I have a very simple Lambda, right? Hello, I said, hello Lambda, that essentially I wanna fire up, right? Uh, and I can go to the event bridge and, uh, and the use cases you already have an event bus, right? So our company said that, hey, we are publishing this event on this event bus, write a custom Lambda for this. You want to do this using serverless framework. So how you can do that is, uh, so you can come to the YAML file. I'm gonna, again, go to the YAML file. Uh, this is essentially org app console true service is equal to uh, AWS event bus, right? Provider and the runtime that I'm using for Python, uh, nothing crazy here. Functions, then this is the name of the function called Lambda events. Handler, handler.hello. So it's gonna go to the handler and it's gonna run the hello function on that, okay? So after that, we are saying events. We are saying event bridge and event bus. We are providing the ARN of the event bus. Uh, since we already have an event bus, if you, but if you wanna create an event bus, you can do that as well. Uh, pattern version zero, which means I just wanna, so whenever any event fires up, I'm gonna show you my screen. So essentially your event will have all these keys, right? Version ID. So I'm saying that, hey, if you find uh, a key version whose value is zero, then only fire my Lambda function. So essentially we are adding a condition, right? We are adding a pattern here, right? Uh, so after that, now it's very easy to deploy. So you can just say SLS deploy and your entire stack would be deployed on, on, uh, on cloud using cloud formation. Serverless framework takes care of that. So now, as you can see, uh, it's doing that. It's updating the uh, stack. So we'll wait for a couple of more minutes to do that. So as you can see, very, very easy, right? Nothing crazy here, right? All we're doing is we are essentially attaching events to the event bus using Lambda, right? Um, so now if you go back to the stack and if you go back to the rule now, uh, if I go back to my event bus, uh, here you can see, AWS event bus dev lambda event rule one. So that's the one, but it's your stack is still updating. So I'll wait for it. And then what I'm gonna show you, um, so it's done. Now what I'm gonna show you is I have a simple code that essentially publishes event to the uh, event bus, right? So to show you, right, that this all works. So I have my access key, secret key, my event bus ARN, right? And all I'm doing is send events, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna send a message new order sawmill bought a new product one two three four python aws i'm gonna fire this event and this event goes to the event bus now since the stack is deployed it's gonna fire up my rules so the rules is gonna meet meet uh, that and if i now go back to lambda right and if i go back to monitor you logs in cloudwatch i should see that uh, event uh, on the cloudwatch now essentially so let's wait uh, so as you can see here so i'm gonna click on that and over here uh, as you can see a uh, new product one to three language python aws uh, so that's that right so essentially we defined everything using a serverless framework right so if i want to edit and show you that how this works right so that's the name that we gave the serverless framework did other and then we added the filter rule, like whenever you see a version zero, fire up my event, right? Uh, it automatically attached the Lambda function and trigger. So it does all that automatically, right? So it makes your life much more easier, right? So I'll leave the, this is gonna be, if you are looking for the code, uh, I have all these labs. This is essentially a uh, fourth tutorial. So if you come to my profile on GitHub, and if you come to repository, and if you're trying to learn serverless framework, come to this one and uh, you should see something called lab 4 so that's where you will find the code with that being said hope you have enjoyed it hope you have enjoyed tutorials and uh, if you have any more questions let me know in the uh, let me know your question in the comments 
In the next session, I'm going to be doing a DLQ essentially to the event, DLQ, SQS and the Lambda, which means whenever an event is fired up to the event bus, it's going to put to an SQS queue, SQS queue, SQS queue will fire up a Lambda, Lambda, then uh, if something fails in the Lambda, then he essentially does the retry, then it would put the message back to the DLQ. Okay, so that's the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you guys.